Hello friends, I am Hardik Padel. Welcome back to Django Tutorial. Until now, we have created many features in this employee management system. And I am hoping that you are also creating your own project or maybe the same project you are working on to just learn this language and the framework. Okay. Now one thing is missing in this, uh, that is bigger thing. Actually two things are missing, but one thing I am going to do right now and second thing you need to do in your system yourself and please let me know when you are facing any issue okay so in this video actually uh, I am going to create this thing when you click on admin this is the name of login user right so if someone uh, that user clicks on this uh, name it should show the his profile right the user's profile and there should be a one button edit profile and if, if clicks it uh, clicks on that edit uh, profile and we should show the form which are necessary to update right so so can uh, let's start uh, with uh, and one more thing that we are we are going to learn in this video that is class based view until now we have created all the views using methods right functions so in this video actually we are going to use class based views and those are like generic views which are created by Django itself so we need to just use them and we need to give some attributes so automatically it takes the object it will take uh, it will create the form automatically and we just need to provide a HTML so let's see how it works okay so let's create first view and then we will uh, we will set the URL for that so from Django dot views dot generic and then import so there are uh, for getting the data they have all the views available in dot generic and for editing something or maybe you can say operation right so then those are available in this generic dot edit okay and then import those so basically in our profile what we need two views one for getting the details of the logged in user and second to update their profile right so there is one view that is update view that is you can say create view right so i'm not going to use the create view maybe you can use that create view uh, for the feature which is missing that i will tell you at the end of this video okay so this is update view and for getting the data there is one more view that is detail view okay so that's what we are going to use now let's create the view so until now we have used uh, functions right but in this case what we are going to use class and then profile update okay and <clears throat> for updating we need to extend that view which is built in django right that update view so we need to just inherit that properties from that okay now one more thing uh, what you need to give that is either you can give model model name or if you write get object method then it will take automatically the model name from this return object whatever we are going to return from this method and from that actually class name will be taken so let's say for example i am returning here return self dot request dot and we have request dot user object right inside this request user and the actual what we want to change that is let me show you that also this one profile inside that actually we want to modify only designation and salary right so to modify that we need to provide profile object so now if you return this from this get object method that is actually available in update view but it does automatically when we pass from inside the url but we are not going to pass anything in the url because we want to change the profile of the logged in user only so we don't need to pass id because we have that user already in our request context right 
so this go get object method will return that user's profile object so profile class will be used as a generating or uh, to generate the form so you will see that right so and then one more thing how many fields you want to use if you don't provide this fields method all my all fields will be taken but what we want we just want two fields only one that is designation the second is salary okay so only two fields you want to allow to update the profile then this is thing uh, these two things are done now you know uh, now uh, this profile update or update view knows that this fields i want to use so i, I know how to generate the form so form will be generated but to render that form into the html how can we provide an html so there are many ways but very simple one that is template look at these fields template engine template name template field template name suffix so what it does like let's say for example automatically it will this uh, profile underscore form dot html that will be the default name of the html right but what we want if you want to have <coughs> HTML in a different location then what you will do just pass this template name and inside that like auth I want to put all those uh, profile related HTMLs in auth application or maybe auth folder then you just need to pass auth slash profile edit dot HTML or maybe you can say update dot HTML right yeah so now this our view is ready because it knows yeah one more thing is it uh, pending that is after successfully updating the profile what we need to do what you want to make uh, this view to do like it should be redirected somewhere right either you want to redirect on the same url anything right but you need to provide success url and what is that you can do anything you just need to give a url but we want to do it dynamic so just use this reverse yeah but reverse is like it will does our uh, runtime and at that time we don't have uh, these urls are loaded right so if urls are not loaded that means this name parameter will be not available when this class was loading so to make it lazy just use this lazy function instead of reverse okay so that will not actually uh, try to convert that in, uh, using name parameter to url so update profile okay so this is the name of url we are going to use now sorry uh, after updating profile what do you want to do i want to redirect to my profile instead of update profile whatever you want to do you can do it but i am doing this now let me uh, okay one more view we let's create that i am copying this and paste now instead of profile update just i am uh, putting that profile or maybe you can use my profile right and in that case we don't need to provide any fields or something right you just need to provide this get object method and same thing you are doing here self dot request or user or profile because user is logged in and in the template your success url is not required because there is no operation is going to happen in this view this is just uh, giving the data and this is not update view it is for getting detail so we are extending this detail view in this my profile now template name also should be different because this template is not going to work so i am just writing this profile.html right so now what we need to do now views are ready okay and uh, two things we need to do one html we have to create second we need to register urls with the same name my profile and uh, update underscore profile those are the names of the urls and third one third thing is that 
we need to provide a link here if we click on that we will show the profile first and there there will be one button that is edit profile and someone clicks on edit profile at that time we will show that form to update the designation and the salary okay so those are this, this is the flow we want to implement here okay now user are ready so let's create urls first so i'm copying this path two times first i'm putting profile and yeah we need to import both the classes right profile update and profile right my profile sorry it's my bad yeah my profile right now here actually uh, this second argument accepts only function okay it accepts only function name but we what we have we have class name so it will not work right so to provide as a method what you need to do there is one method you need to call that is as view like this so this as view method returns the actual method what it requires to execute this url right second yeah and what is this my profile right so my profile here profile and then i am going to see the update okay and sorry here we okay now profile update dot as view and here i'm going to write that is update profile okay now you all are ready as well now let's create html's in the auth folder okay first profile.html okay and one more thing so when we, what we want to show here let's click on this detail page so it will not show but what we were showing the detail in detail page in table form right the same thing we want to show here so let's copy html from there itself instead of writing from scratch this is detail.html and copy let's paste here okay so base.html is okay we are extending that this is content in which we want to put the area right in the that and now this edit and delete will not be there we don't allow to delete logged in users profile right but edit is allowed but instead of edit what i will do i will write edit profile okay and what is the url for editing profile update profile and we don't need any user id because this is work for logged in user right okay now showing the detail first name last name email id salary and designation as you know that we haven't provided any context or something right we just what did what we did just definition and get object and what we returned self dot request or user dot profile so let me clarify that if you are using detail view or list view so it automatically create one uh, variable uh, into the template context like if it's a single object then the name will be object and if the list or maybe you can say query set then it will be a object list so in our case we have the single object so you need to use like object okay and what is that object so that object is of profile class this one and profile class has not any property or any method or any attribute like first name and that first name is actually of the user attribute so what you need to do object dot user dot first name right the same thing for this last name and email id but for salary actually it has right object has the same thing 
So you just need to write object right like this. Okay, so now we are ready. Sorry about this actually. I have just changed in details page instead of profile. Okay. So, so everything is ready details are we have changed the object names and edit profile links is also already ready now let's see what is the problem here profile is not defined yeah so we haven't imported yeah sorry uh, we did a mistake like we have my profile class name and we are using here profile so that is wrong now we should not have any error yeah it is not let's refresh this now yeah now you can see here the details but what we did we had a url available actually i was trying earlier so let's let's go to employee now how how can i go to that okay sorry we were seeing this detail page right the same thing but for any employee you can see because you are the because that functionality available to everyone but now what do you want to do let's for example i have been logged in here and i'm i want to see my profile so i don't want to go into the employee list and then search for my name and then go to that profile but instead of that i will click here i will go to my profile and then edit somewhere edit edit there right so let's create the link uh, click on that so what is that where is that available that link header.html so let's go and modify that Here it is. This is the request to user dot first name. So let's provide anchor tag here. Okay. And now href and we should use this URL tag here. I'll just give the name my profile right so it will take automatically the url now let's refresh this page yes now you can see here link is available now let, let me click here what happens yes now you can see the details of the logged in user now let me uh, put one header so we can differentiate that page yes now you can differentiate right so look at this if i click on detail page it will look like this but if i click on this it will show me my profile now when we click on edit profile it will redirect me to profile and then update but right now we don't have this profile update or html so let's create that new file profile html yes now one more thing that what we are doing here that is update profile still we don't know what we have uh, written or what we have in a context to render the form so by default it returns form as an object so we can use that similar to like this let me copy this editor html like this simple it's the same everything is same instead of that uh, instead of creating new html you can use the same editor html as well so there is no difference at all right because yes one more change one change is there like look at this user form but that name we used in the views that is why we are using here but in our case right now let me show that where is the views yeah here it is so we haven't mentioned anything which variable we need to use into the html so it automatically is written that form 
So instead of user form, you just need to use form only. Form dot as table. Okay. Now let's refresh this page. Right? You can see here designation, administrator, and salary 1400. So if I change from here, let me change to admin instead of administrator. Update profile, it will redirect me to again my profile. But if I click on edit profile, it will be redirect to here. So now you are ready. Uh, this flow is complete now. You can update the profile. Definitely, we can use, uh, we can add more fields here itself. But for that, you need to extend the forms. You need to write your custom class because we have two models here to update the whole profile. Right? First name, last name, and uh, gender. Uh, all three are coming from a different model. And these two are coming from the profile model. So profile we just used inbuilt uh, functionality of Django. So it was uh, it is creating the default uh, form using the same fields which are available in profile model. So now uh, this is ready. Now you can uh, you know the how to use uh, class based view. So one more thing you want uh, I want to uh, I want ex I am expecting from you guys like. You can add the poll. This is the thing is missing. So you just need to add one button here, add poll, and that button should be available to HR only. So HR create that form, right? So when uh, when HR clicks on that button, it will uh, show the form with the name of uh, with the title that that contains question. Then other fields uh, for adding the answers right so that is the uh, you can say homework or anything but you have to do that uh, i will explain maybe in next video or maybe upcoming videos right so until then just you try if you have any problem just let me know in comment section i will help you okay and i will show you the uh, solution for that as well coming soon okay so thank you very much for watching this video Please subscribe my channel uh, for uh, getting the solution of that as well. Thank you.